from all the major technology companies. We've kind of seen what they think is important for consumer technology. Now we're really wondering what all of it means. You know, the, the crazy drones, the self-driving cars, the robots. What does that really mean for us, the very people who are using these gadgets day in and day out? We talked with Ericsson, a technology company, trying to answer those very questions and doing it by talking to people just like you and me. We went out to over 40 major cities in all major continents and talked to a representative of 100,000 users to find out what they saw as the top needs coming into the future and where they saw the trends going. We wanted to find out from the consumers, not the people building the hardware, because they're the ones that see what they're gonna need. Today, we look out into the future of what's connected. Right now, there's about 7 billion humans connected. There is about 14 billion laptops, computers, different systems connected to the networks. Ericsson and others see by the year 2020, there being 50 billion things connected to the networks. 50 billion. Everything around us will be connected, and that's what we have a hard time grasping. You're looking for a gadget or a specific thing, but you'll be able to walk into a house and tell it to do things for you. You'll be able to get in your car. You can already tell your car to do things, but there'll be many other things around us that are connected. The self-stirring pot, well, you can't connect to that from your phone yet, but have you seen the cameras in the fridge? But with every single thing in your life now connected, where is all this information going, and where is it being stored? Who's protecting you? New things are scary, without a doubt. We're working hand in hand with multiple partners to create a truly secure backend cloud. How do you find when people have breached it? How do you find what data they've breached? How do you understand how to keep that breach from happening again? Cloud isn't just about storage. It's about making secure connections for everyone and everything around you. This is where we see the future of communications having to go. For people to trust new technology, they need to be able to know it's safe and secure for their use. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel a lot better that these folks have their head in the clouds so that you and me, we don't have to. I'm Jennifer Jolly. You can read more about this story and everything from the Consumer Electronics Show and beyond at usatoday.com. This is Tech Now.